Here you see I'll have a application already set up and let me run this so you can see it working. So what this is supposed to be is some sort of blog post or some sort of article that requires the feedback of the end user so that they want to give some sort of uh, suggestion on what they thought of the article they could do so giving a three star a one star or five star and there's also half variations if you want to do that and there's another option that lets you set the exact value another thing that you'll see here is a grid uh, what we're trying to do here is use the web rating as an editor so that if you want to edit any of these values you could do so uh, and you'll see once you set the value it appropriately gets set back to the grid so let's see how all of this is hooked up uh, back in Visual Studio, this one is pretty straightforward. All I really did was drop down on the form. I uh, didn't really add much to it. So that's how it's really going to work by default. Uh, you'll notice that I have a web script manager on the form. Uh, this is going to be required by all of our Aikido controls, so make sure you have one on there. As far as the grid is concerned, I guess this is going to be a little bit of a grid introduction as well. Uh, when you want to see or when you want to add any of these editor providers, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, you could either add the editor provider ahead of time, by going into this editor provider uh, collection, clicking on this little ellipse icon, and in this drop down, you could actually click on one of these and add an item. I already did that ahead of time, and you'll see here uh, it got added. Now, if you want to control the properties of any of these editor providers, uh, you can do so very easily by expanding this editor control property. And off of there, you'd have access to all the various uh, types of properties that you would expect on the control not just on any editor so you'll see there's uh, rating specific properties that you have access to if you want to control how that editor provider worked as far as hooking it up to the grid uh, once you have your column set up you could go to your columns collection uh, over here or actually a better way would probably go to the behaviors collection and you actually need to have editing enabled so you'll see I check this off uh, to enable editing in my grid and off of this cell editing behavior uh, there's a column settings connect collection. This is a way that you can customize the behavior of any of these behaviors. Uh, so when I click on this ellipse, you'll see I added a on this add item. You can do so now. Add a column setting. I'm going to remove that last one. Uh, so for this rating one, uh, you'll see that I hooked it up to the rating column, the one that I want to edit, and I hooked it up to the editor provider that I already added. If you want to do some sort of validation, you could also hook up a validator here. But this is really how I hooked it all together. So that was a little bit of an intro into the web rating control. Uh, there is a lot more here. Uh, just start to get start to play with it, look around the object model. Uh, there is a lot more, uh, especially when you start to get into custom images. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.